What is up guys, it's your boy Gun Slides with Delay and welcome back to another video. Now, before we get into the actual video, I just wanted to say that all of my drum kits and all of my loop packs are 20% off until the 1st of January. After then, I'll move all of my kits to my selfie page, so grab them cheaper while you can. So, as the title suggests, I'll tell you guys how to add a delay effect to your 808s. Now, you can do this in two different ways, but I'll show you the easiest one, which is also the more efficient one. I have this project right here, and I'll modify it just so I can actually show you how to do it. And um, it sounds like this. <laughs> First of all, I'll get rid of these automations, just so the bass won't get boosted. This isn't really related to the tutorial, so, you know. I also removed the reverse kick, and I added a small pause. In this gap, we can add the delay, so instead of it sounding like this, we're gonna add the delay effect. So we're gonna go to our 808, and we are going to add a delay 2. We're gonna change the time signature to... Four. It sounds weird right now. We're gonna automate the enable button and we're only going to turn it on when the gap comes in. Technically it should sound like this. And now you might be wondering why doesn't it do anything? Well the effect needs something to delay so it can play back this part as a delay. So now it's gonna sound like this. You could also make the gap even bigger, make the delay longer. And this is gonna sound different for everyone because it really depends on your slides. So I could do something like this. So now that I've tweaked the slides, it's gonna sound like this. It does sound better, but we're still not there yet. So what we gotta do is just turn down the delay a bit, like up to 35%, something like that, just so it won't be as loud. So, and there you have it, honestly. It's this simple. The other method that I told you guys about would be to just make the pattern unique. What you could do is just get rid of these, copy the last part, the ones that you want to be delayed, duplicate them like twice. You're gonna select them and just slightly turn them down and you're basically creating a delayed effect. So now, when we turn off the delay, you're gonna get the same effect. But either way, it's really simple, so I hope you guys managed to learn something today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, make sure to press the like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to press the subscribe button. You could also turn on the notifications if you feel like it. I'd honestly appreciate it because YouTube isn't doing the best job when it comes to sending notifications. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. It was a boy Ganso and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.